Hey guys, this is Scott Homer here. I have a quick deal example I want to run through with you. And uh, again, just want to give some additional information about how we execute our ABLE strategy here and uh, the fact that you can do it in any market and really in any price point. I want to preface that we've identified our sweet spot here in our market and the markets that we're currently working with. And one of the things that we always want to teach up front is to identify what your sweet spots are. Price points typically, most places around the country are 200 to 500. We find that those are people that have good down payments, which is how we get paid. They understand the platform uh, that we provide. You're dealing with uh, savvy, sophisticated folks, which makes your job a lot easier, believe it or not. Uh, and at the end of the day, the payday is greater. As we say, the juice is worth the squeeze on the higher price point homes, really more to two to 500. However, there are exceptions to that rule, certainly above and, and also below. I will tell you, we try not to go under homes uh, less than 150,000 here in our market in Jacksonville, Florida. We had one come through our funnel, it was actually a referral, and uh, at the time we scoffed at it, didn't think it had merit, but uh, now we love it because we made a nice profit on it. It was very easy to do, very, very quick. And so in this particular case, the home that we are uh, dealing with is an industry called Aquarius. And a decent little pocket here in Jacksonville, nothing special, but at the end of the day, uh, price point was lower than we were accustomed to. Because it was a referral, we wanted obviously to give it the right uh, attention and uh, see what the market would bear. At the end of the day, we ended up making $11,000 on it and we had it for less than 40 days from contract to close. I want to just run through it with you very quickly, and I just want to preface that uh, uh, price point because we teach that your sweet spot is between 200 and 500, but some people are scared to talk to those types of sellers. I don't know why, but uh, it also works on homes that may be a little bit lower. So let me just tell you, the seller was asking 129.9, and as we do in every home, we did a market analysis, and the price was right where it should have been. Uh, values higher, values lower, but 129.9 for the uh, four or three. It was a four bed, two bath, uh, uh, was right where it should be. Uh, we talked to him, he was interested. Obviously we came out and met with him. And one of the things that we do when we're at the home, not when we're on the phone, when we're at the home getting ready to sign the contract, we say, Mr. Seller, if the terms as a whole made sense, uh, the buyer was the right fit, et cetera, et cetera. We were able to get you what you were asking uh, and uh, the terms as a whole were acceptable. What's the least you think you can take for the home and be comfortable? By asking that one question, of course, there are several quick little variations thereof, we we're able to get them to drop 10000 because most sellers are going to list at a certain price, but they always have a kind of bottom line number in their head. And, and we say, look, if you can get us your kind of bottom line number, it helps to get us to the point where we can consummate a sale much quicker without having to go through reduction. So by asking that one simple question, he took $10,000 off of his price. So he was asking one twenty nine nine. It was priced the way it should have been, and we ended up writing a contract with him at one nineteen nine. Now. Here's the purpose of me telling you that. What did we do? We went ahead and inserted our $10,000 minimum fee, which is what we tell every seller that we work with, onto our list price with our buyer. So we were able to market the home exactly at the same price the seller was marketing it at uh, and still have our $10,000 fee built in. The price still would have comped out and we were in good shape overall. So we ended up taking it out at $129.9. Uh, by the way, the seller was asking for $1,100 a month, which is kind of a high payment for the price point, but in Jacksonville, the rent rates, so to speak, are very high. And so uh, even though it's high for the price of the home, it also will serve as incentive for our buyer to go get a mortgage because when they get a mortgage, their payment will go down. Uh, and as far as the term, he was flexible. Uh, of course, he made it crystal clear that shorter is better. And I joke with people, I've never met a seller that doesn't want their cash, but when they see our formula, when they understand our platform, they see that in almost every case, we're able to maximize the return that they get. And in an aggregate form, they get a lot more by working with us for a short window of time than they would selling it on the traditional market. And I've done videos before and there'll be lots more to come in the math because when you look at the math, it makes so much more sense for sellers. And that's one of the biggest key distinctions that we use when we're working with sellers and one of the sell features that we use as well. So long story short, we took it out uh, within the first couple weeks. We had a lot of interest in it. We do bandit signs. We do obviously ads. We dominate Craigslist. We got a very, very cool formula that we use on Craigslist that we're going to teach in our 10 in one training coming up here. But at the end of the day, we found a buyer, no problems with the 129.9. It was a fair price. They came in with a down payment request. They said they had $8,000 to put down. So if they have eight, do they have more? The answer is almost always yes. No one ever tells you everything that they have right up front. And they were actually looking for a payment of $1,000 a month, which at 1100 as an ask, we thought we were very close. And uh, they weren't sure 
where their credit was. They actually were one of the people that got caught up in that robo signing with, I think it was Wells Fargo. At the end of the day, they did have a short sale uh, that hurt their credit and they had this window of seasoning. But uh, after we ran due diligence on them, by the way, this was back in like 2011, so the window of seasoning had already run through. Uh, we have a very th thorough due diligence that we undertake, which is another key distinction of our program. We set everybody up that we work with for success, and a lot of that success comes from the due diligence that we undertake. In this case, they were really looking at a one-year term uh, and with a one-year extension if they needed it. Now, we knew that they could do it in a year, but we don't ever want to uh, 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 box somebody into the point where if there's a hiccup in their life, they can't ultimately finance out. So we're a big fan of what we call good faith extensions. And in this case, um, the one year we ended up taking down to six months. So they really had uh, a one year term with a six month extension. Excuse me, I put six years there. So the term was going to be short, which is obviously ideal for the seller. Uh, let me fast forward the tape. We sat down met with them as we were going through just a first class couple. Couldn't get any better, by the way. I said to them, look guys, our typical down payment requirement, the minimum is $10,000. We like you, everything else seems to match up fine. If we can get the payment down to a thousand a month, could you come up to $10,000 as your minimum down payment requirement? And they said, yes, we could. They actually said, can we give you a nine today and a thousand within 30 days? And we said we would work with it. And we've been stung before, but in this case, just a first class guy, he showed up here two weeks later with a check for a thousand dollars. And so uh, very quickly, our down payment we got was 10,000. And we always keep the first month payment. Those of you that have followed me at all or have been to any of the trainings know that we always ask for the first month's payment. Seven out of 10 times, there's never an issue. Three out of 10 times, we either throw it back in the pot and or negotiate it. But in this case, no issues there. So we had $10,000 down. We got the first month's payment of 1,000 and we ended up making $11,000. And I believe it was about 40 days from contract to close and that's always a beautiful thing when we keep them in a fairly short window so anyway it was a very simple deal very clean by the way the seller was fine a thousand a month uh, I will tell you we did say if they are going to take the six month extension which we only give them if they are declined by a bank so they have to show us that they've been declined by a bank for us to give them the extension if they needed the six months then the payment would bump up to 1100 but we were able to meet the payment at a thousand seller was happy again I'd be willing to bet you my right arm that they're gonna get their mortgage within 12 months or less because they understand they've been homeowners before, got caught up in the foreclosure crisis, perfect candidate for us, low price point home, so it does work on the low price points as well. And I gotta tell you what, to make 10 grand on a $130,000 house is a uh, beautiful thing. And to do it in less than 40 days, to be able to work with a dynamite first class buyer, to really help them get back there, uh, back on their feet. They were so excited. They wore suits and their Sunday vest to our closing, which always made us feel really good. Uh, they were happy and it just was a win, win, win for everybody. The seller was very happy, got a great buyer. We got him ultimately what he was asking after we asked for his best price, which is what his bottom line was. Got him a good payment, short term. Uh, uh, the buyer is very handy, there's no repair work, and after 30 days it becomes the buyer's responsibility anyway, any sort of maintenance or upkeep. The buyers are happy because they got a good deal uh, at a fair price, and they're gonna become successful homeowners again. And we're happy because at the end of the day, in 40 days, we were able to make $11,000. By the way, how much money do we have to put down for the home? Nothing. How much money do we have to spend to secure the contract? Nothing. How much did we have to spend even in marketing, aside from the people that work with me here that have to uh, that I pay to market? Uh, the ads that we uh, put out there cost no money either. So, guys, there's just not a better strategy out there in today's world. Uh, I'm not a hot air guy. I don't try to blow smoke at you. Uh, this is a fantastic strategy. It's a platform for buyers and sellers where both can benefit tremendously especially when it's executed the right way, and that's the whole key to it. Most people, uh, in fact, I've never seen anyone that does it the right way like we do it, and of course, that's why we're so excited to share it with people. So uh, another quick example for you, uh, we've got some trainings coming up. Uh, you'd be crazy not to be there. We'll have some dates and certainly a link to the, uh, the website that you can check us out in a little more detail. That'll be attached to the bottom of this video. And I uh, just wanted to give you a real quick example of a deal we closed recently. And uh, many, many more out there. They're in every market all around the country. And uh, I look forward to hopefully being able to share a little more detail with you guys in person here at our upcoming 10-on-1 down in Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you.